Hello and welcome to Carla's class. Today, we're not going to do too much moving, but we're going to do more breath work today. Some stretching, but mostly breath work to get you focused into your own body and the awareness of your breathing. Because mostly I'm teaching you moves or just the breathing and the moving together, but if I could just get you to sit up nice and tall, your chin's up, your head's up, your shoulders are back and down, and focusing on your breath, feeling that nice cool air coming in through your nose at the back of your throat. Feel your body rise, exhale, feel your body relax. So being consciously aware of that breath, again, breathing in, nice and light and airy. Exhaling out, relaxing the body. So the breath is gonna come in like an ocean wave. You're gonna take a nice, slow, healing, relaxing breath in. Hold that breath for a second or two, and then exhale, relax. And all this time, your spine is gonna be nice and tall and aligned. Chin is gonna be up, bring the shoulders back and breathe in again. Hold the breath for a second or two and exhale, feel the body relax. Now, sometimes you might not be able to make these long breaths as long as I can, but it takes practice. Again, you're breathing in, you're flexing the muscles, you're expanding the lungs, the diaphragm, and then exhale out. Feeling your body relax, sinking back into those sit bones, but still feeling nice and tall and aligned. The exhale, hold it for a second or two, and then bring that breath back in, fill up. And then exhale, relax. Now when the spine is nice and tall and the chin is up and the head is back and the shoulders are pulled back behind the ears, you're now in the po perfect posture, the proper alignment. So we'll do a few exercises with this, a few stretches, and you continue breathing, nice, slow, full, relaxing breaths in. Go ahead and bring the head back and the chin up. And then exhale, bring it back to center. Still focusing on that breath. And then continue to inhale and lift the head up. Keep the shoulders back. And then exhale, breathe out. Now keep your head centered. Again, feel your alignment. Feel that back up nice and tall. Bring the shoulders back. Again, this is perfect posture. This is distributing your weight evenly. <laughs> right now on your sit bones, but when you're standing up on your feet. So you're gonna move your head to the right side with a breath in, and again, just focusing on that breath nice and slowly. in like an ocean wave up along the shore and then gently receding back out into the ocean that's the ocean breath so nice and slowly and gently just bring it in and then exhale out you want to feel the stretch. So when you're aware of your breath, so bring yourself back to center. Again, check your alignment, sitting up nice and tall. 
feeling that cool air coming in through your nose, hit the back of your throat, feel your body rise. Exhale, feel it relax. You might be able to take longer exhales than you can inhales at first, but that's okay, keep breathing, keep filling up those lungs. You're just nourishing your body with oxygen. Nothing wrong with that, because aside from food and water, cut your breath off and see what happens. <laughs> so again, focus on that breathing, nice, slow, full inhales. And then exhale out nice and gently. So this is a whole respiratory detox. So there's another meditation you can do, opening up the back and cooling down the front. I want you to take a nice deep breath in and as you breathe in, I want you to feel like a fire coming all the way from your tailbone up to the top of your head, opening up that spine with that deep, hot breath in. And then when you exhale, I want you to feel a nice, cool, relaxing, refreshing waterfall coming down the front of your body. And then again, take a deep breath in from your tailbone all the way to the top of your head. I want you to breathe in a fire. Wake up that spine. And exhale out, feel a nice cool waterfall dripping down the front of you, cooling you off so you're not so hot. Ah, just the right temperature to heal. And take two more breaths in and out. Breathing in, feel that fire coming up the back to the top of the head. Exhale out. Feel that cool, nice light water dripping down the front of your body with the exhale. This is another way to go internally and help yourself heal. A nice meditation to make you relax. Sometimes we have those stressful jobs where we just want to get out of the external world. <laughs> this is a good way to just focus on your breath. Even if you're standing in line at the grocery store, stop, breathe, I don't know, go look at some gossip over to the side of you, maybe talk about a, f a few recipes with other people, but just take the time to stop and focus on your breathing, maybe even on your balance. Check yourself, see if you're standing up nice and tall, because if you're not and you're slouching, oh, your body doesn't feel good when you're sitting up and you're tall. You're feeling fine. And the meridians, the flows of energy through the body, actually run smoother. That's your whole healing system. That's the circulated oxygenated blood that's running through the body and the lymphatic system that's helped cleaning out toxins. Just breathing in. Nice full healing, relaxing breaths in. Full exhales out. We're going to release a little bit more tension and stress on the neck. Go ahead and with your right hand, grab your left wrist and sit up nice and tall again. Now you don't have to sit like me. You could sit normal in a chair, but this is where I find my perfect posture and alignment. And just pull that left wrist over to the right side. Sit up nice and tall. Give me a nice deep breath in. Lift up, exhale, bring your chin down. I want you to feel that stretch in the back of your neck. And with another breath in, go ahead and pull your right ear over to your right shoulder. And breathe nice and slowly, nice and fully, nice and relaxed. In and out of that muscle, in and out of your nose. Give me one more deep breath in and exhale out. And then the next inhale, go ahead and look up at the ceiling. You might feel a crack, keep breathing. <laughs> Focus on that breath. We gotta push through that, that pain. You gotta feel it to heal it. And then give me another deep breath in. 
And then exhale, bring your ear back down to your shoulder. And then another breath in. And then exhale, bring your chin back down to your chest. Loosen your hands, back down, and inhale back up. Go ahead and shake your arms out. We're gonna go to the other side. So hold on to your right wrist with your left hand. And just gently pull it over to the left side. Sit up nice and tall again, checking your alignment. So consciously always being aware of your body and your perfect posture, and hopefully one day it'll become habit. So up nice and tall. Give me a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, bring your chin down to your chest. And with the next inhale, nice and gently and easily, Roll your left ear over to your left shoulder and breathe and feel the stretch in the back of the neck. From the side all the way down the shoulder. Keep checking your posture. Inhale, feel that stretch. Breathe into those muscles you feel stretching. Give me one more deep breath in and out. I know it's a long time, but it's working. It's helping, believe me. <laughs> I know. And then with the next breath in, go ahead and look up. A nice deep breath in, exhale out. So breathing in like you're refreshing, exhaling like it's relaxing and detoxing. Give me a breath in, and then exhale, bring your ear back down to your shoulder. And another nice healing, relaxing breath in. And then exhale, bring your chin down to your chest to release your hands and your arms. And then inhale, come on back up, shake it out. Ah. Let's go ahead and stretch out. So if you're up in your chair or if you're down on the floor, let's stretch the spine out, wake it up. Sit up nice and tall on the sit bones. We're gonna stretch out the back. We're gonna stretch the piriformis. We're gonna work that sciatic out, that achy pain and the lower back, so sit up nice and tall, even if you're on a chair. You could just open up your legs a little bit, put your hands on your lap. Again, check your alignment. Give me two deep breaths in, checking that alignment. Chins up, heads up, shoulders are back and down. Core is up nice and tall. And then when you exhale, just fold forward. Bring your head down parallel to the floor and just breathe into that spine again. Breathing in, feel all the muscles stretch, exhale, feel them relax. Two more breaths in and out. Breathing in to full capacity, exhaling, feeling that body and that back stretch and relax. And then with the next breath in, just slow it on up. And bring the shoulders back, chins up, heads up, shoulders are back and down. <clears throat> Let's work on these ankles. So back and forth with the toe, pointing out and then pull it back. So point and flex, take a breath in, feel that stretch, pull those feet back, point that toe, exhale and reverse. So breathing in, feel that stretch, exhale. You're gonna feel it in the back of the leg, you're gonna feel it on the top of the foot. Again, we wanna work these calves uh, because those are the muscles pushing the blood back up to the heart. And we wanna work the lymphatic system and the top of the foot, that's lymphatic drainage. Plus we wanna work those little ankles that hold us up all day long. So keep breathing, nice slow healing. Healthy, relaxing breaths in, full exhales out. And again, one more time, check your alignment. Bring your feet in. We're just gonna sit up tall. In a nice cozy position, side to side on those sit bones, getting yourself nice and comfy. Again, check this alignment. And when you're sitting up nice and tall with the chin up and the head up and the shoulders are back, 
Take your left hand, put it on your right knee. The right hand comes back. It's like your kickstand. It's holding you up. Keep the chin up, the head up. The shoulders are still back. Breathe in through your chest. Feel the body lift and rise. Exhale, relax. You can do this in a chair. You can hold on to the side of your chair. Or you could sit down and you can do the twist. And give me one more deep breath in. Exhale out and relax. Sit up again, check your alignment. And then the next breath in, a twist to the other side. Put that hand back, it's your kickstand holding you up. Chin up like you're looking back, backing out of the driveway. Breathe in through the chest, feel your body rise and lengthen, exhale. Feel all those muscles stretch, just relax. And one more deep breath in. And exhale, release. So, let's get on our backs. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, and relax your back. So we stretched your back out. As we were twisting like that, we were actually working on the internal organs too, massaging them. Now you're going to just keep your feet to the mat, keep your hands to the mat, and let your body relax. Let your back relax. Focus on your breath again. Two deep breaths in, full exhales out. And as you exhale, I want you to feel that spine just relax even more, almost like it's melting into your mat, amalgamating with your mat. Let everything relax. From that monkey mind, how you get rid of the monkey mind, you focus on your breathing. No thoughts. If a thought comes in, let it go out. How do you do that? Kick it out. Just breathe it in and out. Say, I'm busy right now. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> let it pass. So take your right foot, put it up on your left knee. Take your right hand, put it on your right knee, and then gently push that right knee away from you, opening up the hip. Breathing. Give me two nice, deep, relaxing breaths in and out. Feeling that stretch in the hip. That back is just nice and relaxed. Especially if you're sitting all day, you want to open up these hips. Ah, that poor lower back because we're going to work on that lower back right now. What you're going to do is release that hand and you're going to lift up the left knee. And you're going to either take your hands and clasp the back of your thigh or up in the front of the shin and then just gently pull back. And if you can't pull back and you go, Carla, I can just hold it there and focus on your breath. Again, you got to feel it to heal it. So give me two deep breaths in and out. Stretching out the piriformis, that sciatica is not going to hurt so much when we're stretching all the ligaments and the muscles and relaxing the body. If you're too tense and you're too tight, your muscles aren't relaxed. They're too tight and tense, so we must relax. So one more breath in, and then just hug that knee up to your chest with the breath in, and then exhale, release it. And then bring that leg down. Stretch that leg straight out. Lift up that right arm. Uh, give me a nice deep stretch. And exhale. Release it and relax. The other foot. Left foot up on the right knee. Take the left hand. Put it on the left knee. Keep that back flat to the floor. Gently push that knee away from you. And focus on the breathing. <laughs> it's all in the breath. You do not feel pain. You feel stretch. Breathe in, refreshing, healing. Exhale, relax. I get a lot of questions, Carla. How do I help this pain? You have to keep moving and stretching it. Oh, it's like the Tin Man. He needs to be greased and oils. Oh, and that's how we do it on ourselves, stretching these babies out. So the next leg you're going to kick up, 
And you're gonna either clasp behind the leg or in the front of the shin and just hold and breathe. Again, taking that breath in nice and slowly. Fully and exhaling out, relax. Breathe in, feel all those muscles stretch. Feel like you're taking a breath into those muscles. They're breathing with you and exhaling and relaxing. One more breath in, pull that leg up. And then exhale, relax. So let's stretch these legs straight out, Ugh, both of them. And stretch out the left side like we did the right. Just lift that arm up, give it a nice stretch like somebody's tugging on your wrist and your ankle. And then exhale, just release. Give me your best Shavasana pose. And that's just relaxing the body. Just focusing on that breathing, focusing on that breath. This just relaxes your body and again, just focuses on the oxygen coming in and out of your body, that other nutrition, nutrients that every cell is looking for. And then go ahead and pick up those knees and just move from side to side. Just nice and gently, massaging that lower back. I don't want to crush the electronics, so I'm going easy. <laughs> and then bring those legs back down. And again, just continue to focus on your breath and your breathing, nice, slow healing, relaxing breaths in, full exhales out, feeling that body melt into your mat, become one in the present moment with your breath and your mat, just relaxing, letting go, staring up at the ceiling, thinking about your future or being in the present moment. Bring in the now, and exhale the now. That's all we ever are, is just in the now. A good way to find out how to be present is read some Eckhart Tolle. <laughs> the power of now, that should get you there. And that's about it for Carla's class today. You can lie back and look at the stars or think about the present moment and philosophize or just continue to keep breathing and stretching. I'm gonna kind of stay zoned just in this tone, in and out, focusing on my breath, being aware of my breath, Feeling that cool air come in through my nose, hit the back of my throat. I feel my body rise and a beautiful alignment. And if anybody knows what chakra is, <laughs> at the base, at the center is your root chakra. It's a red tone. So we're gonna go up the scale. As we go up the scale with this tone, breathing in from the ground, up, and then exhale back down. And again, always thinking about Qigong and how you're connected to heaven and earth. So when you listen to these tunes, it's almost like you are, like it's almost like angelic to feel the subtle energy of yourself, being aware of your breath and being in complete harmony with yourself. You can feel everything in the body. <laughs> Even all those clicks and the cracks. But as long as you're focused and being aware on your breath and feel like that's healing energy coming in and feel every cell in your body 
get that oxygen. and exhale out the toxins. That would be a negative energy. Uh, that would be from anything, from jealousy, hate, greed, uh, anxiety, depression. <sighs> that feels heavy. It almost feels like you wanna wipe it off your shoulders. That's cleansing the chakras. So if you wanted to know what's a chakra, <laughs> like I said, we start at the root, it's red. We go up into the sacral, it's orange. Back in a little higher up is yellow, the solar plexus. Then you go into the heart. It's a beautiful emerald colored green. And then you come up to the harmony. <laughs> in the throat, this is where we express ourselves. This is where we express love that's connected to the heart. So as you're breathing in, this is the lotus pose. It gets the light from the sun and it feeds from the ground up to the top of the head because right after this throat chakra then comes this beautiful one right up here. That's up at the mind. That's where the creation station is. That's what I tell my students when I'm teaching. It's the imagination station, go there. So as you feel that breath coming in and you're going from the root chakra, you feel that subtle energy that's grounding you and connecting you to the earth. So continue to inhale and feel all these chakras coming up and we're not done. So the imagination station is now up here and it's a beautiful indigo color. And then it's connected deep up top of the head. This is the crown. This is where you open up in the beautiful lotus, gathering the light energy in, breathe it in, and be in complete harmony with the tones and the sounds that you hear and the subtle vibrations that you'll feel when you're just aware of you. So breathing in, nice healing, relaxing breaths coming in and extend with them. And I always say, <laughs> get the crap out. And you know what? The crap is good <laughs> in the soil. <laughs> and ground yourself. So breathing in, light up those chakras from the ground. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then connect with the brighter light. Because once light is bent through a prism, you all know the Pink Floyd cover, that triangle. You'll get that beautiful rainbow color, which is you. So you take that beautiful light of spectrum, white light that you feel that glows. Be the light. And then when you draw it up in through your chakras, it shines. And again, when you bend that light, you get the prism of those beautiful rainbow colors. Those are the energy centers of you. You can feel them. You can connect with them. And now that you're completely aware of where they are, you ground yourself and again, continue to breathe with every tone you breathe in. Beautiful, healing, all connected breaths deep from the ground and the roots of the trees up to the stem to the spine to the tree that is you the tree of life every branch is every journey we've ever taken but we're constantly coming back to self 